Yo, what is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny gameplay video. Hey, in this video we're going to be talking about tier 12 builds in Destiny and if they're worth grinding for and how exactly you can generate these tier 12 builds efficiently and easily. So, first things first, what is a tier 12 build? Many of you know, maybe some of you don't, but a tier 12 refers to the number of full stat bars you get with your armor and equipment allocated across intellect, discipline, and strength. When you add up those stat bars, uh, you can see what tier, tw uh, what tier build you're running. So most people end up with around a 10 or 11. Uh, you know, for example, Titans often run like a five intellect, five discipline, one strength. Stormcallers usually run something like a, a five intellect, one discipline, five strength, or a five, two, four. It, de it varies depending on your subclass and your class build. But currently in the game, tier 12 is the highest that you can go and it's optimal for PVP activity. So what's the big deal? Is it even worth grinding for, uh, you know, just one more stat bar? What's the difference? So let me break this down for you. Each intellect bar reduces the cooldown of your super by roughly six, or I'm sorry, roughly 20, 60 seconds, a full minute, no. By roughly 20 seconds, depending on how low or high your intellect is. So it's around 20 seconds. Uh, that's pretty substantial, like very substantial. I mean, one trials match this weekend with Dr. Lupo, uh, where we were trying to help someone go flawless. We were down three to one. Uh, I was last man standing, whole enemy team grabbed heavy. I gave them the run around until cap point came up. My super cooled down the very second I pushed up on the cap point and the last two guys came at me and I dropped my smash and was able to clutch the round out. Uh, that wouldn't have happened if I didn't have five intellect. If I was at four, I would have been another 20 seconds. I would have been up the creek without a paddle. I would have been hosed. So. It matters, it does, it does in fact matter. So each discipline bar reduces your grenade cooldown by between seven and eight seconds. Again, it depends how low or high your discipline is. Uh, at the upper end of it, it's nine seconds. At the lower end, it's seven seconds. And strength is just like discipline. So those seconds, they matter. In Destiny, abilities are becoming more and more important to winning engagements in and uh, winning matches. As gun skill gets lower in importance and ability usage goes up, each individual stat bar matters more and more. So you can ab absolutely um, you can absolutely get by with a tier 11, but I wouldn't recommend handicapping yourself by going uh, lower than that to a tier 10 or 9. Uh, you really want to get up to 11. That's sort of the standard. Uh, and then if you really want to opti you know, optimize your loadout, you can go up to a tier 12. So how do you go about getting that tier 12 build? So I used to sit in my menu for hours, moving items around, blowing through most of light and materials, uh, leveling up armor pieces, seeing what builds I could generate, but there's a much, much easier way. I highly recommend that you use Destiny Item Manager for this. They don't really have a competitor when it comes to this, in my opinion. So not only can you move items around from character to character with Destiny Item Manager, uh, but DIM will actually, I'm just going to abbreviate that DIM for this video, by the way. DIM will tell you how to get, um, it, will, it will tell you how good each and every piece of armor or equipment that you have is. So it'll uh, color code it. If it's red, it means it's a bad stat roll. You can just delete it or infuse, use it for infusion fuel, uh, get rid of it. If it's yellow, it means it's mediocre. You can still use yellow armor and equipment pieces in a tier 12 build, I do. Um, if it's green, it means it's a good roll. Hang on to it. If it's blue, it means it's optimal. It's it's 100% stat roll and above. I've got a few blue items on hand for some of my builds. Uh, never, ever, ever delete those. Uh, you wanna hang on to those, uh, absolutely. So, when, uh, when you wanna generate your optimal builds, what you do is you go to Destiny Item Manager and in the upper right hand corner, you wanna click on that bar graph icon. It's labeled Loadout Builder. Um, then select which character you want to work on. When it, when it brings up the page, you can do a drop down menu, click on the character you want to start working on, uh, and then Dim will show you all the best builds you can generate with your current gear, including the items that you haven't leveled up yet. So follow the blueprints that it generates in order to, to get the build that you want. Just keep in mind, if it shows you a ghost and you're like, I don't see that ghost in my inventory. When, when it comes to ghosts and artifacts, um, it will it will include the ghosts and artifacts that are on your other characters that you can use for example um, you know the the Iron Lord artifacts so say you have a Silmar artifact that's a blue stat roll or a green stat roll but it's on your warlock and you're working on your Titan 
it will take into account that Silimar artifact uh, when generating builds for your Titan as well as all the ghosts in your other inventories because ghosts can go onto any character, it doesn't matter, right? So, uh, it's going to show you all of those. Uh, it'll start with the best stat rolls you can get. If you can get a tier 12, it'll show you all the tier 12 builds you can get. And then it'll show you your tier 11s, tier 10s, etc. So, now say you want a tier 12 uh, build for your Titan. I'm just going to use this as an example because this is one of the most common ones. So say you want a 552 build for your Titan. And Destiny Item Manager shows you configurations but none of them use the armamentarium you want to use or the garrison that you want to use. So that means that your exotic armor isn't ruled correctly. So what I did is um, I find a tier 12 build that I want to work with that doesn't have the exotic uh, chest piece I wanted to use. I wanted to use a garrison. So then I, I look at the stat roll on the chest piece it wants me to use. So for example, for me, it, that chest piece was a 60 intellect, uh, 60 intellect and 86 discipline chest. My, um, my garrison was below that. It was like a 5782. And it didn't work for, my for the tier 12 build. So here's what I did. I just said, okay, 6086. That's what I need to have on my garrison. I went to Zer. I got a bunch of glass needles. And then I just started re-rolling uh, my already leveled up Twilight Garrison at 400 light. I just kept re-rolling, re-rolling, re-rolling with those glass needles until I got um, a, I actually got a 6186, which was better than the chess piece it had me using. And so I got a, I got a blue stat rolled uh, garrison that I now use in my tier 12 uh, build. I just substituted that in for that chess piece. Bingo, bingo, bongo, there's my tier 12 build. You can do this for any exotic you want to do. So I wanted a 4-4 build uh, for my defender using the no backup plan. So I found a 4-4-4 build I could do without any exotics. I looked at the gauntlets. I saw what stat, uh, stat values I needed to have on my no backup plans in order to get that tier 12 build. Kept re-rolling them until I got those same stat values. Substituted those gauntlets in, uh, you know, substituted the, the no backup plans in for those gauntlets. Bingo, bingo, bongo. There's my tier 12. So, how many glass needles are you going to need to do that? It took me roughly between 15 and 25 rolls each time I tried to re-roll an exotic to get what I wanted. I did this with my um, um, Sunbreaker gauntlets for my Sunsinger because I like using the solar grenades. So that's how you do it. It's, it's complicated, but it's kind of simple at the same time when you use Destiny Item Manager. So I highly recommend using it to optimize your builds. I also added uh, a little more, for me it also, it added a little more excitement to the game because uh, I, started, I started checking every piece of gear that dropped uh, before deleting it. I was refreshing my page right on uh, Destiny Item Manager to see, okay, is this a green, is this blue? I'd look at the numbers and be like, oh, that looks like it's pretty decent. I'd compare it to the ones I had in my inventory that I knew were green rolls or blue rolls. You know, so it just added that another another layer of excitement for me. So, so the question is, where where do you find good gear for these builds? Well, Iron Banner is excellent. Make sure you're playing Iron Banner and turning in your bounties to get those drops. I actually got I got three blue quality items from Iron Banner. One of them is a 107 percent stat roll on a, an artifact that I use in my tier 12 garrison build. So definitely, definitely play Iron Banner when you can. Uh, also, check the vendors. I believe this week all of Effort Eats armor she's selling is green quality or higher, so in other words, it's all tier 12 capable, grab it. Uh, check the vendors each week. If you want a shortcut, just watch the stat roll videos that go up on YouTube on reset day every week uh, by content creators like Holtzman or Briar Rabbit. They're good dudes with great content. They'll steer you in the right direction so you know from the get-go what you need to go grab for your builds for that week. Uh, also, I've had a lot of tier 12 capable armor and artifacts drop from the Archon Forge. I've had tier 12 capable blue artifacts drop from the Ar Archon Forge. So, check that out. It's worth farming every once in a while. You might also get a God Rolled Saladin's Vigil that's going to completely destroy people in the Crucible while you're there. So, it's worth farming that. Lastly, I'd recommend playing Trials at least to get your armor drop and complete your bounties. I've had a lot of really good gear, green and higher drop from uh, Trials of Osiris. And don't be afraid to opt in for armor packages 
from your Crucible, Vanguard, or Faction rep packages that you turn in. Most people just go for the, the weapons. They just want their weapon drop, right? Oh, I gotta get my God rolled, Luna, or LDR, whatever. Every now and then, just go for the armor instead. Sometimes it'll actually award you some solid tier 12 capable armor. So some of the armor that I've gotten for some of my builds came from those rep packages. Start opting for armor instead of, instead of getting your disappointing hand cannons <laughs> every week, you know what I mean? So uh, I hope I've cleared some stuff up for you and I hope that I've helped this process seem a little less daunting. Hopefully you get your tier 12 builds knocked out on your favorite characters. I know I'm still working on a few builds myself. And lastly, I hope to catch you in the Crucible.